They know good god dang well that this is not a sale. Two for seven. Now if you got two for five dollars or maybe six, but I know it's so important to have America with, but that's not a good deal. Sins, of your sins. Of my sins. That's right. And be baptized in the name of Jesus. Ha la 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 la. gonna deal with it and stop fast forwarding you know who you are stop see how tall i am i am cut off or not let me see okay guys i'm um i am not going to record this whole thing and not be in the shot so let me see if i'm still in the shot stuff we do to try to see Okay, I feel comfortable that I am in the shot now, okay? This is not even nothing to do with what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm going to be making ranch pasta salad, and I use this Hidden Valley. I might get sponsored by, but if you want to, read in comments how to get in touch with me. But Hidden Valley uh, Dips Ranch. I use this. Yes, guys, the most important part of this, Miracle Whip. Not mayo, but if you have to use mayo, you can do it. And also, if you don't want to use meat, if you're a vegetarian and you don't like meat for some reason, um, you can go ahead and do that. And if you guys want to say that's what she said on every single thing that you can think of in this video, this is kind of what this video is about. So, have at it. Uh, also, I have black olives. I like it black. Um, and cheese. You can get, never get enough. Never get enough. You shake my cheese at you. Um, you guys already know how to, oops, got juice everywhere. I'll clean it up later. Get this going everywhere. It's going to be salty. Salty all over the place. At least it didn't get in my hair. <clears throat> okay, everybody knows how to cut olives up, okay? And if you want to know a little trick, uh, I think I already threw, this is my garbage bag here, so I just throw everything in here from um, what I'm cooking so I can just throw it away easier outside and not jump up the trash can. Well, the lid's gone, but I use a lid since this lid's real sharp. If you don't want to clean a, a utensil, uh, then you can just use the lid to cut these. Uh, a lot of a lot of people do not like olives, so I make two different batches. Uh, me, well, my daughter and I, uh, we both like the black olives in here. So uh, I make two batches for people. People do not like black olives for some reason. I don't know why. But I'll do the rest of these later. But you you know the gist of it. I am not trying to spend the whole time uh, cutting this. It's supposed to be a quickie. You know, you know how it goes. You know, you know how it goes. But a lot of shredded cheese, and I use uh, large shells, but you can use any kind of shells here. Uh, but I like it large. Uh, two boxes. Each box, I try to use at least three quarters of America Whip mayo. You know what I'm talking about. But it's white. Okay, it is some white, delicious sauce okay you can call it sauce but 
Um, usually the next day it gets pretty not as moist. It gets dries up. So you want to moisten it up a little bit, lube it up, put another, put the rest of it in there of each one. So it usually goes for a whole jar for each box. And I use one packet of these it comes in two i split them apart one packet for each box one per each box uh, one big block of cheese probably for two boxes so a half a block of cheese um there i guess they're a pound a piece so these you want to not put in very hot so you want this to to, to get all the the moisture out without uh rinsing this off with cold water or anything to try to cool it off because you're rinsing the the starch off of it the, and, and all this is not going to stick good to it because you, you rinse the starch off. So do not rinse that off. So I'm going to pour this in here. And it's been it's been sitting in there a minute, so it's a little bit a little bit uh tight. You might want to talk to it a little bit to loosen it up, but once it's got tight for a little while, you wanna you got a little uh little kitchen foreplay, you know. But I try to get this cooled off as much as possible um, because it's adding this uh, white mixture to it is not really good to do. I use my spoonula. This is a spoonula. It's a spoon and a spatula, okay? So uh, I call they call it a spoonula, and that's what I call it. So I'm put all this in here. And I'm only going to do one camera angle, okay? I'm not I'm not trying to do it up and. Uh, I'm just trying to do an extra little bitty video that people's just going to fast forward over anyway. So the people that do not fast forward, you guys are the real disposal team, okay? Please, please, if you can, if it's not a 20-minute video like a ad, then, you know, I, I appreciate people watching a couple-minute ads. And if you want to skip it at first, and then after you watch my whole video... Go back and, and put it in the beginning and walk off and do what you got to do, you know, and keep it running in the background. Um, it does help me out to keep these videos going and I can do more stuff like this um, if I can get a little bit more revenue to help me out. Then I don't have to do as many side jobs. But uh, there we go. I'm putting both of these in here. <clears throat> you can never get enough of this. Some flavor in your mouth. Okay, and I'm not cooking bacon, I'm just going to make this, and if you guys, please take, please take the little sulfur packet out of here if you see it. Sometimes they're not in there, like that one's not in there, so whoever was the uh, inspector of that bag needs to be fired. Don't they got inspectors, like, like t-shirts, inspected by number 30? No, I guess the guess this brand doesn't have them in there. So whoever Mario is, you guys are trying to save money on that. I guess you don't have to. Maybe it's a preserved already. We get the other jar in here, the good old delicious. Yeah, I knew I got busted. slobbering on top here once I started doing that. white sauce in there and you really can never have enough white sauce all over 
your lips. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm going to work this in here. <coughs> oh, yeah. Creamy. Like a creamy pie. Like a cream pie. Creamy pie. Well, I'm going to work it in here. I'm going to show you guys how it's looking. Looking like this so far. And if you want to add red onions to it to give it a little crunch, um, hell, I don't, um, I wouldn't knock you for that. Uh, my daughter doesn't like red onions, so most of the time I'm not going to do three different batches of stuff. So I already do one batch regular without the black olives, and then I put the black olives in it for uh, me and her there. Okay, it's looking, it's looking pretty, pretty good. I mean, I would eat that. I would eat that. Talk about this. Okay, this is going to look like this for now. And then, uh, when I put it in the refrigerator, it's going to dry up a little bit. So, like I said, you want to you wanna, um, work it and get it moist again. So, uh, you want to put a little bit. Probably, I'll put the rest. It's about to here now. I'll put the rest of this in here uh, tomorrow. But you want it, they call it to ma marry together. You want all the flavors to get together. So, like potato salad and this. I cook two, two, sometimes three days prior and put it in the refrigerator so it all, all gets together. All to, you got, you want to get it all together. So, uh, once you do all that and, and it marries and, and does what it has to do, um, works this magic in there, then bam, good to go. So, uh, I always leave a, a block of cheese like this, cut it off and I'll cut the package open because it's. It's too small to grate. So you got to eat it. So you get to eat this um, because you can't grate it. So that's your little thing. You're like, hey, I get the snack. So I'll put the olives in here in a little bit. And there you go. Voila. Ranch pasta. That's all it takes. It's like four or five ingredients all together. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I have t-shirts in all the way from small to 5X. We have a great day unless you made other plans on the back. They are very, very soft, high quality. I pay extra for that so you guys uh, can get a quality shirt. Pre-washed material before I put the logo on it so it won't shrink on you. Uh, shipping and handling is in the descriptions. Look in that of the videos and see how to send the payment in. If you haven't already, please go to Facebook under the Garbage Disposal and hit follow so you get more information of where I'm at. Subscribe to my page, hit the notification bell to get notified of upcoming events and live streams and videos. Uh, please hit the like button for me. And uh, if you could, please share with your family, friends, and even your boss. Have a great day unless you made other plans.